Hello and welcome to this video presentation for CallumMcMillan.com I'm Callum McMillan and today I'll be taking you through the introduction to my video series on DIY electronics and home automation. Let's take a look at what we'll cover in this video. First I'd like to introduce myself. Then we're going to look at what these videos are and are not. Finally I'll introduce the project and outline some of the risks it involves. So about me. My interest in electronics started back in 2002 when I did a GCSE in this subject. The project for this was a multi-zone home intruder alarm system. This was followed up by an A-level in systems control technology where I built a system for measuring spooled cable in the construction industry and a motor speed controller for an electric racing car. When I was at university, I spent 13 weeks on a microprocessor applications course, which was my formal introduction to microcontroller based electronics. My degree project was a wireless home automation system designed to aid the elderly and dementia sufferers. It focused on safety for the user, such as stopping fire or flooding in their property. Today, I work in financial services IT. But I've never lost my love of working with electronics and the challenges they present. So what are these videos? Well when I was writing them I sat back and thought about what I wanted you to take away from them. I'm making them as an extension to the work I'm doing already. I want you to feel a sense of achievement when you watch this video, when you decide to give something a try and when it works. I want the process of making stuff to also be fun. Remember, if you're like me, this is a hobby and it should be fun. I hope you'll learn something from these videos. I'm going to pitch them at quite a simple level, so you may already know a lot of what I cover. But if you don't, then it shouldn't be too confusing to follow along. Finally, if I ask you to make a circuit to switch on a light bulb, there's any number of possible solutions, all of which will work fine. What I present in these videos is just one way of doing something, it's not the only way. So what these videos are not? Well they aren't the font of all the electronics knowledge. Remember my degree is in computer science and this is just a hobby. So if you want to know how to use a transistor then I can help. But if you want to know how a transistor actually works then there are much better sources of information out there. Also, some of the things I demonstrate in these videos may not always be the best or the right way of doing things. Before I demonstrate something, I will always try it out myself and prove it to work. But if I've missed something particularly major, feel free to drop me a comment. Right, so the project. First, what is home automation? The simplest explanation, and the one I tend to give, is it's a system which automates sequences of activities in your home that you would otherwise do yourself. What it isn't, and what the sceptics would have you believe, is that home automation is all your domestic appliances sitting around having a chat. So why isn't home automation very popular? Really it comes down to two things, cost and effort. Cost is that of buying the system, effort is that of installing it. It generally involves taking walls and ceilings out of your home in order to install the necessary cabling. Some manufacturers are beginning to release retrofit components, however these tend not to be particularly good. One, because they aren't designed around the environment they're being used in. Also they miss the point of automation, which is chaining sequences of events together. What is the point in buying a device when instead of turning a light on with a switch, you use a button on the remote control? As such, the effort needed is the same and it doesn't actually give you any real benefit. Let's walk through a quick example of how automation can be used. You want to watch a movie on your TV. So on your automation system you select movie mode. It turns off the room lights, turns on and dims the mood lighting, it closes the curtains, sets the air conditioning to a comfortable 21 degrees. It turns on the TV, it selects the DVD input, it turns on the surround sound system and the DVD player. Then all that's left for you to do is put in the disc, press play and enjoy the movie. 
what we're going to do in these videos is look at how we go about building the various components needed to do all these things. How do we control the lights? How do we control the TV? How do we control the air conditioning system? Right, the health and safety stuff, bit boring but it's worth covering early on. This project does involve some elements which can be dangerous, especially if you don't think. So what you have to ask yourself before doing any activity is, do I know what I'm doing and can I do it safely? If the answer to either of these is no, then please don't do it. I don't need comments saying you've burnt your house down trying one of these experiments. Also, you accept this guide is for information only. I take no responsibility for anything you may blow up, burn down or if you injure yourself. There are a couple of specific risks I'll point out. The first is that this project will use mains voltage circuits. If you're not confident working with 240 volts, then either don't do the experiment or redesign them to work at lower voltages. I'll give additional warnings when I get to these topics. Next, you will be working with things that can get very hot. Aside from the soldering iron, some of the components you will use will get very warm when you're using them, especially if they're incorrectly wired. Please be careful you don't burn your hands or fingers. If, like me, you use a leaded solder with flux, then there are a number of chemicals in it that can cause allergic reactions. If this affects you, please be careful and take appropriate precautions. Finally, you should consider wearing eye protection when building and operating these circuits. The last thing you want is something blowing up in your face. Right, that's about it for this video. Next time we'll look at setting up your lab and then we'll start making some stuff. For now though, I'm Callum McMillan and this is a video presentation for CallumMcMillan.com.